Hello there and welcome back to my channel Juella. Or if you're new here then a big warm welcome to my channel. So first of all apologies for looking dog rough but I'm feeling dog rough. I've got a little bit of a winter cold virusy fluy type thing going on and before anyone asks no it's not Covid. However at least I'm over the dreaded conjunctivitis. Seriously it might be Halloween today but I could have been one of the extras in Night of the Living Dead. It was that bad for the last few days. Anyway, moving on swiftly. As you can tell from the title of this vlog, this is a very non-traditional Mask Monday on a Sunday. Just something that I started quite a little while ago now. I do just quite infrequently, not every single week. But when I remember to do it, it kind of is a good thing because it encourages me to have that R&R &R time and actually use my face masks up, particularly my sheet masks. So that's what this video is all about. And of course, while I'm doing it, I'm gonna natter away like the chatterbox that I am. You know what I'm like. So grab yourself a cuppa, that's exactly what I've done. I've made myself a cup of coffee here. Decaf, because any of you who knows me knows that I'm not allowed caffeine. So I've got myself a cup of decaf coffee here. I'm just going to take a quick slurp because like I say, I've got a bit of a sore throat, more croaky than usual possibly as well, bit of a head cold, earache and just generally feeling completely zapped. So just give us a second guys. I'm just taking a couple of gulps because I'm pretty sure I'll probably be talking that much. I won't be able to manage another one for about 10 minutes. By the way, this is a new mug. I got these from Dunnell Mill. I think they're so cute. I love how they're patterned inside and they've got like knobbly bobbly bits on the outside. I got two teal ones, this colour, and two mustard coloured ones. I absolutely love them. They reminds me of like uh, one of those coffee cups on Friends because <laughs> they're quite a decent size. But anyway, that's not why I got them. I got them because I like the look of them. Anyway, so Mask Monday on a Sunday. I did do one, was it last week or the week before? I cannot remember, I've completely lost track of time guys. When you're feeling a little bit poorly and a bit under the weather, you do lose track of the days don't you? Or at least I do, but that's not, not unusual for me anyway. So, as I was saying in my community text post the other day, I'm probably going to be keeping my videos to a weekend time. Purely because I've got a lot of challenging things going on through the week, Monday to Thursday. When it comes to a Friday, that's generally the first day that I'm kind of feeling up to hopefully having a shower and washing my hair, putting a bit of makeup on and getting some videos recorded to go on my channel. So yeah, most of my content, even though I could schedule it to go on through the week, I'm useless with technology guys, I'm useless with stuff like that. So if you don't mind, I'll probably be keeping my content mainly to a weekend, but I'll probably end up spamming you all at the weekend. There'll be like three and four videos on a weekend. But it all depends what videos I've got to do. Today, like I say, I'm not feeling too well at the moment with this coldy flu virus type thing. So it's just going to be Mask Monday on a Sunday. And you know what? I'm three minutes in and all I've done is waffle on about nothing. Anyway, so let's get started. This is the sheet mask I'm going to use today. I got this one gifted in the face mask club box that I got. If you remember, I got two cucumber ones. So I thought I might as well try one of these cucumber ones. Fingers crossed I don't have any kind of allergic reaction. That would be quite hilarious on camera. Not so hilarious for me, of course, because it might be painful. But anyway, let's get started. Peel here, they're easy to open. Hopefully it is easy to open. I think so. Don't speak too soon, Julie. A load of serum will probably come spitting out. So I'm just going to whack this on. And I have got written down some notes of things that I need to mention in this video. So if I keep looking down referring to it, you know, just bear with us. This is quite a wet one. Obviously all sheet masks are wet because they're coated in serum. So I'm just going to try and pull this apart. Naturally I haven't got a towel next to us to wipe my hands. But I think I've got a packet of baby wipes nearby so they'll have to do if I need them. Or I'll just wipe my hands on my leggings because they'll go in the wash tonight anyway. <laughs> Anyway, this is quite a wet mask, this. I hope it fits all right. Sometimes you find with the Korean masks that, I don't know, the sizing of them, the way that they design them and cut them on the machines, sometimes they're not quite right. But anyway, let's give it a go and try it on. 
obviously I'm going to look hilarious. I'm going to look like the marshmallow man. But you're used to that by now. Obviously I've got a tiny bit of makeup on. But no face makeup whatsoever. Because like I say this is a mask video. And I don't wear face makeup when I do these. But I'm probably going to tear this little bit here. Otherwise it always seems to like just drop down onto my lips. If I can get it torn that is. Of course I can't. Oh, yes I can. <laughs> I'm just going to tear that bit guys. Because it just drops down onto my lip. And it's a nightmare to keep up. And then I keep doing that don't I. And then I look like I'm flipping you the bird. Which obviously I'm not. So right. Hopefully I've got that on. That's about as good as I think it's going to get. I know it looks hilarious. But this is all about R&R &R time. So I hope it encourages you to just sit back. Kick your, kick back. Put your feet up and chill with a cuppa with some R&R &R time. I've got my trusted Vicks Vapor Rub here with us. Which I've just stuck up my nostrils so I can actually breathe a little bit. <laughs> so I'm going to pop that aside now. In fact I'm going to throw it in my handbag. Because I'll be taking it downstairs. So this is the Cucumber Korean Face Mask. I think it's the brand Holika Holika. Now I've never tried this brand before so I'm definitely interested to see what it's like because I know they're super affordable. I think they're only about two or three pounds on the Look Fantastic site. So yeah, definitely intrigued to see what it's like. So I'll just pop that there. Now then, anyone who gets a rocker box, you'll notice that they're not doing an advent calendar this year. What they are doing is a not a beauty advent calendar box where you get nine items. Now, normally, I love my rocker box, even though they've put the price up by £5. Is it justified? Is it not? I think it's too early days to say that quite yet. I'm going to give it a couple of months before I give it an all-round kind of evaluation, you know. But my opinion on the not an advent calendar box, nine items. Obviously, it's nothing like an advent calendar because it's nine items. It's not 25 or 24 or even the 12 days of Christmas. It's not even that. But I was really looking forward to it and then I got the email saying exactly what was in the box. Sadly guys, I'm probably not going to be purchasing it. It's £28 plus postage and I believe the postage is probably just going to be the usual £3.95. Although I'm not too sure yet, but I think it is. It's available to buy now and it gets posted out in the middle of November, I believe. So the middle of next month. It's Halloween today, it's the last day of October. So yeah, um, I was really looking forward to it. I was hoping and praying there was going to be things in there that I would really love. But sadly, when I look through the items, which I might just have a quick look on my phone now, if I can get my phone to open, it doesn't want to recognise my face. That's quite hilarious. It's because I've got this sheet mask on. Anyway, it did say in the email, if I can find it, guys, I'm sorry, this video is probably going to be a long one. Um, it did say exactly what was going to be in the box. And out of nine items, there was going to be three that I was bothered about having. Three out of nine could not be justified for me to get that box. Some of the things I've already had and tried before and they just didn't bowl us over, they didn't excite us. So, can I tell you what they are? <laughs> well, I thought they were listed on this email, but they're not on that email. They must be on another email, but I think I can see vaguely what they were. So, the one, I, the three items that I would have liked out of the box. There's an Illa Masca lipstick, which is bright red, pillar box red, in the shade Rocket. I would have really liked that item. There's a little mini size Rituals of Jing shower mousse. I would have used that, the shower foam. And an Emma Hardy face cream, just a little 15ml deluxe mini. There is some deluxe minis within the box and I think there's one or two full size but there's there's nothing amazing in there guys for £28. I mean yes they're saying it's a value of £148 based on RRP but I don't know there's just there was nothing that there was too many samey samey things that's the best way to put it. For me there was like three serum -y type things which is just like what? Three glowy serums? And usually I sing the praise as a rocker box because I like it. Because it's a different box with products varied across the board. It doesn't just hone in on cosmetics or skincare or body care or hair care. It goes completely across the board, generally including well-being as well. Which is why I like it. But I couldn't justify this box, guys. It's got a nip and fab glycolic face scrubbing, 
which is an all right product, but definitely tailored more towards oily blemish prone skin, which I don't have, so that was no good for me. There's a Figs and Rouge, I want to say Sea Pearl Dew, it's like a dew drops, which is basically like an illuminating serum. I don't like my face to look too dewy. That would make my face look dewy for all its Figs and Rouge, and I like Figs and Rouge. I've got an abundance of serums I really don't need any more right now. A Beauty Crop Eyeshadow Palette, Espresso Your Love. I've had the exact same one before, and although it's got some beautiful, wearable, everyday colours in, and some really pretty shimmers as well, the pigmentation payoff was not fantastic in my opinion. I used it once or twice, and I passed the palette on to somebody who wanted it. I just, it wasn't my cup of tea. Um, there's some more like kind of dewy face drop type things again a very samey samey product to the Fix and Rouge one There's a little tiny sample five mils of Dauphin Serum again another serum, but it's a tiny teeny sample um, The Emma Hardy product which I said I would have quite like to try that Moisture boost vitamin C face cream, but it's only a 15 mil tube um, There's a Mayo or Mio. I don't know how you pronounce that heavenly purifying body scrub but i've heard that it's very eucalyptusy so you've got to be very careful using that in the shower guys because yeah it might be a little bit stingy in certain areas but it's supposed to be really good for purifying the skin detoxing the skin that's full size it's actually quite big but it just didn't interest us and yeah that's about it really guys i'm just looking at what's in the box because i've just got a little picture of it on my phone here the box and it just didn't bowl us over so Cut a long story short, you know, 11 minutes into my video and I've only talked about one thing. I'm not getting the rocker box, not an advent calendar. Because there was only three items out of those that I really quite, you know, fancy trying. The main one being, of course, the red lipstick because I can't resist a good red lipstick. So yeah, that's it. But if anybody does purchase that rocker box and they are not interested in the red lipstick whatsoever... I am offering here and now to buy it off you. <laughs> um, either that or we can do a swapsies with something that I might have that you might want. So just let me know in the comments if you would like to do that. If not, it's absolutely fine. I'm sure I'm going to end up seeing some on eBay at some point. So yeah, other than that, it's Halloween. I've got a pumpkin in my porch. I was going to carve it, but I like pumpkin soup. So I want to use all of the pumpkin to make some more soup. I did already make some last week. And I've ate it all. It's like really nice. It's delicious. There's hardly any calories in it. So that's why I'm going to make some more. But instead I drew with marker pen. And I just want to show you my little design. Hopefully you can see it. I've got a funny feeling my ring light's going to block that out you know. Anyway it's just a little cat on a crescent moon. You probably can't see it because my ring light's trying to shoot it out. With a few little stars and the word boo. <laughs> anyway I've got that sat in my porch. Along with a little bucket little dish full of candies for the trick or treaters later if we get any because i don't know i'm not so sure i don't think we did last year i'm going to take another sip of my now cold coffee guys oh my god yes that is cold obviously coffee tastes all right when it's cold because you can eat drink iced coffee but anyway so i've talked to you about the rocker box stuff i've told you what face mask i've got on I wanted to do a quick first impression review based on a couple of products that I got in beauty boxes this month. This is something I don't normally do because I, I usually forget to do these reviews. I try things and I put them down and I forget about them. But if you remember, in Rockerbox this month, October, we got the Paul and Joe Foundation Primer, full size, which I think it was worth about 30 odd pounds or something, about 30 pound, in the shade 02. Now at first I thought it might be quite universal but the fact that it was a shade and looks like a foundation I was quite dubious about it. Anyway I have used it once guys literally just once and I'll be honest with you I thought it was just like a foundation. So in my opinion this would only be decent on somebody with a sort of light to medium skin tone for sure. I think if you've got a deeper skin tone, a darker skin tone, then it's obviously going to be no good. It might make you look a bit ashen and a bit bit weird, a bit dodgy. So yeah, I found that to be like a foundation and not like a typical primer. It didn't leave my skin feeling really soft and silky and it took ages to kind of absorb, if I'm honest with you. That's just the way my skin reacted to it. It wasn't unpleasant or anything, 
but for me I would use that instead of a foundation but I don't like thick craggy foundations anyway I don't like that cakey foundation feel so yeah if I was to give this a score out of 10 for a foundation primer I would probably only give it a 6 to be honest I think it's okay but not my cup of tea I wouldn't go out my way to purchase it but it's a beautiful bottle really nice and it smells nice but the feel of it, I prefer those soft silky primers. The ones like the um, Smashbox Photo Finish. I think that's got a lovely kind of silky soft feel. But this just, it wasn't the same. This is definitely more like a, like a BB cream foundation almost. Which I'm happy enough to use. But I don't know how often I'll use it. I'll probably give it a go for the next couple of weeks. And then come with a more rounded decision about it hopefully. But first impressions, mm, it's not bold as over. 6 out of 10. So now I've talked about that. We also got an Ico Mascara. Now I don't think I got this in the rocker box. I can't remember where on earth I got this. I really don't. If anyone can remember where I got this one, please let us know. I know I got one in rocker box, but it was a different one. This is the Yoga Waterproof Mascara. Just a little deluxe mini sample size. Now I tried this once and truthfully, I wasn't expecting great things because as you know, I'm not really the biggest fan of Ico. I think it's okay, but nothing amazing. It's got a really strange wand. I don't know if you can see there, it's bushy at one end and thin at the other. Anyway, it's a black mascara, waterproof and yeah, it's actually really decent. <laughs> I'm going to eat my words on it. It's really decent if you need a mascara to stay in place for like three days solid. Because I could not remove this stuff for literally three days. It was still stuck to my eyelashes. Which I was actually quite worried about because I thought my eyelashes were going to drop out. But yeah, I couldn't get it off for love nor money. It was stuck like glue. This stuff should be called glue mascara. So anyway, yeah decent mascara if you really really want it to last <laughs> it certainly won't flake off it will stay put but I don't do loads of exercise so maybe if you do lots of exercise it might come off a bit but for me it made my eyelashes literally like they had a coating of glue on them and I've got very straight poker straight eyelashes anyway and once I'd curled them it did keep them nice and curled but it literally just stayed on for days it took us forever to get the stuff off but score out of 10, I would give it a 7. I think it's actually not bad. Like I say, if you want a mascara to stay in place and feels a bit like dried glue, then it's actually not bad. Just depends how you want a, a product to perform, doesn't it? Anyway, what else was I going to mention? My lovely friend Lisa, she bought us some um, eyelash glue. Now, I don't often wear eyelashes, but whenever I get them, I've never seen to have got a glue to put them on with. So my lovely friend Lisa popped round the other day and she got us some glue from Doll Lashes. So I just wanted to say a public thank you to her. I've already said thank you to her, but I just wanted to say quickly on here. And I forgot to give her a box of Cheerios, the cereal that I said I was going to give her. I totally forgot. I'm so sorry, Lisa. It's still downstairs and you can come and collect it whenever you want, pet. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention that. Um, what else was I going to say? In my last Mask Monday that I did take down, like I said, I got a little bit trolled in it for talking about my mental health. Um, the trolling comment wasn't anything amazing. It wasn't anything like totally, what can I say? It wasn't really below the belt. It wasn't really nasty. It was just someone who wrote yawn, yawn, yawn with an eye roll emoji, which made me feel really deflated, guys. And it was someone who just set the account up that day. So, you know, obviously a troll with an extra account but it did make us feel deflated so that's why I took it down so yeah I was thinking hmm I was dubious whether to do the mental health video on the st in the first place everybody knows that about me I'm not one to you know go talking about these things on camera all the time because I think well people don't really want to hear that people want to see exciting stuff people don't want to hear about people's woes generally but um yeah if anyone's got any questions about my particular mental health disorders then just come forward and ask pop it in the comments below or send me a private dm on instagram which is juella82 anyway so yeah i might touch on it, touch on it at some point again in the future but probably not uh in the near future <laughs> but i might at some point i'll just see what the response is to that I'm not bothered if I get a little bit trolled again, guys. At the end of the day, I have got a thick skin up to an extent, but I think depending on what I'm going through at the time, I was so vulnerable in that video 
that I think I left myself a little bit too open and a little bit too vulnerable. So I think it's important sometimes to just keep a little bit of a shield of armour up, you know. Anyway, moving on. Halloween. Yes, it's Halloween today, guys, like I've already said. And I'm sure everybody's seen the mammoth amounts of movies on Netflix, Prime and iPlayer. Well, I watched one the other day. I watched The Conjuring 2. I'd seen the first one a couple of years ago, really enjoyed it. Quite scary, mind. And then I watched the second one. Obviously, they're based on true stories. The second one was based on the Enfield case, which was in Enfield in, I think it was London. Obviously, in the UK, where I live. I don't live in London, but I live in the UK. Anyway, because it's based on a true story, I suppose that makes it even scarier in some ways. But yeah, I watched that and my goodness, I was literally watching like this. You know, like if you watch through your fingers and you're thinking, you know, you can't really see it as much. But then you open your fingers at a point that's like the scariest part. That's exactly what I was doing. And it was during the day. I started to watch it the night before and I fell asleep on the couch. My husband watched it all, but I was fast asleep, sunked out. So I only saw the first half. The following day, I watched the second half on the afternoon with me little dog Ella sat next to us just for a bit of moral support, a bit of company while the horror film was on. E, honestly, I was still sat looking through my fingers. And yeah, really good film. If anyone's seen The Conjuring 2, really good. Um, but definitely a bit of a scary one. <laughs> but only because it's based on a true story. And I had to keep reminding myself that it's just a film. Even though it's based on a true story, it's just a film. And after that, I noticed on my, my iPad on my YouTube, it was coming up with documentaries about it. So that night I was sitting watching documentaries about it. I went to bed that night and I was still wide awake at three and four o'clock in the morning, literally looking over the side of my bed, convinced I could hear knocking and see bright green devil eyes and stuff. Honestly, it was hilarious but scary. But anyway, yeah, so if you've seen The Conjuring too, pop in the comments what you thought of it. But like I say, it is based on a true story. What else was I gonna mention? I must be on to the next bit now. I've been binge watching Shameless, the UK version. I had never seen it on telly, literally up until about three weeks ago. And it's been out on telly for about 15 years and I had never seen it. Crazy I know, but anyway, I know they're doing the US version one as well. But I've not seen that yet. Well, I'm on the final series, series 11 of Shameless UK. And it's been good. It's just a nice little distraction in the background. Some episodes are better than others. I think they're getting tight on the storylines now. They're coming to a close. And obviously it's the final series. So I'm excited to see what happens at the very end. Just to see how they round it all up, you know. But if you've watched Shameless, pop in the comments what you think of it. And also if you've started to watch the US one, let us know what you think of that. Some people are saying it's totally different. But one of my favourite characters in the UK one... I like Kelly, Kelly the prostitute, and Lillian, the madam prostitute, like the one who owns the uh, house where she's got the prostitutes working. I think it's hilarious, but yeah, they're probably my two favourite characters, to be honest. Anyway, fireworks. That's something I wanted to touch on, because obviously I've got a little dog and she's petrified of fireworks. And at the moment, I believe, I saw a post saying they're selling no sound fireworks. Fingers crossed, guys, that people buy them instead of the ones that go bang 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 i've noticed the last couple of nights people have been setting fireworks off but there have been the bang 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 ones but i'm hoping there's going to be a few people at least buys the no sound ones and i'm so thrilled that sainsbury's have took a moral stand and not decided to not sell fireworks to the public i think that it should be personally in my opinion public displays only or no sound fireworks for people who want to just set them off in their garden you know because it not only, you know, can really seriously frighten and petrify people's domestic pets, but also the wildlife out there. It can really scare them as well. And they haven't got a nice house to go cuddling up to their owners because they're, they're wild animals, you know. So there's lots of things to think about if you're an animal lover like me like that. So I'm just thrilled that every petition I've been signing for years has come to a little bit of fruition kind of with the no sound fireworks and certain bigger supermarket chains taking that moral stand that moral high ground and saying no we're not selling fireworks anymore so that's fantastic i just hope that more and more follow suit 
so I just wanted to quickly touch on that my dog's going to be petrified tonight when they're setting them off and next weekend obviously bonfire night she's going to be even more scared like she's inconsolable she literally climbs up onto your neck she just can't settle she can't get comfortable I've tried every trick I've tried wrapping me scarfs around her nice and tight to make her feel secure under the blankets you know I've tried absolutely everything music up loud telly up loud nothing works literally it just doesn't stop she doesn't stop shaking and panting and breathing fast until the fireworks stop so fingers crossed guys it's not so bad this year there's nothing wrong with enjoying fireworks i love to see the pretty colors but i don't like the bangs myself because i do suffer with my nerves and a bit of ptsd so it can affect me as well you know it's not just animals it does affect people as well so yeah just something to consider i suppose but I do like to see the fireworks. I just don't like the noise. So I'm not a total party pooper, guys. So don't put us down as one. Anyway, something that I'm going to mention now that I have not put in the title of this video. I'm going to be doing a little special giveaway, guys. This special giveaway isn't really kind of based on my subscriber number or anything like that. Although I have seen a little rise in that subscriber number over the last couple of weeks which is fantastic. Thumbs up. Thank you so much to everyone who does subscribe to my channel. I sincerely appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I really do. Thanks to a few friends of mine who have been sharing my channel lately. I think I've gained a few more subscribers via that as well, which is fantastic. I am so appreciative. So yeah, I'm going to do a little kind of secret giveaway. And this giveaway is for me to give something back to my loyal subscribers who watch my videos preferably ones that watch my videos from start to finish because I know a lot of people sometimes just probably skip through them for a minute or two which is fine because I'm guilty of doing that with other people's videos at times I haven't got the time to sit and watch everybody's video from start to finish but yeah this is for my very loyal subscribers and I'm gonna know if you've watched this video because I'm gonna ask you to do a little something to enter so what I would like you to know what I would like to know sorry is what is your favourite lipstick? So I want to know basically the favourite, your favourite brand and shade of lipstick. And make sure you include the word lipstick in the comments. If you do this, you will be entered into my special giveaway. I'm not going to show you what's in the giveaway. It's just going to be a box full of goodies, which I'm going to be giving away at random to somebody. Your name will go on a piece of paper and a hat in a couple of weeks time. I'll pull it out and then basically whoever it is, whether it's US, wherever in the world, UK, I will send the parcel off to you the, the, the cheapest way, especially if it's overseas. Um, and if it's UK, it'll be via Hermes Korea, because that's the only thing I use in the UK. But obviously, if it's overseas, then it'll be the cheapest way that I can possibly do that. But yeah, um, I want to know your favourite brand and shade of lipstick and include the colour, the, the shade, the, the, include the word lipstick in the comment so yeah that's all you've got to tell us basically and preferably give this video a cheeky little thumbs up um and yeah that's about it really just to be in with a chance of actually winning a box full of goodies i'm just uh making sure i'm checking my notes here seeing if there's anything else i need to say about it obviously make sure you're subscribed to my channel first and foremost please make sure you're subscribed um and obviously comment your favorite brand and shade of lipstick as you know i like my red lipsticks right now in the past i used to wear a lot of plummy colors peachy colors even beigey brown colors but for the last year or two i have been a stickler for bright red lipstick and yeah i haven't turned back since it is my go-to shade at the moment still and will probably continue to be for some time i think it's slowly becoming my signature color so yeah that's it really guys um i'm going to be doing a autumn beauty empties video probably next weekend maybe and hopefully by then i might have one or two of the november beauty boxes in to show you as well i'm just checking how long this video is oh my goodness i'm nearly half an hour in that is far too long this mask has surely been on long enough now and my coffee is far too cold to drink so let's take the sheet mask off my skin feels really wet at the moment. It doesn't feel quite as slimy as some of them do, but that was the sheet mask, the Holica Holica Cucumber one. Hopefully my skin's gonna feel really refreshed. It certainly does feel quite cool. 
doesn't feel stingy or tingly or anything and I wouldn't say it's gone particularly red. I think it feels absolutely fine and if there's any excess it's sometimes just a good idea to pull it down into your neck just so that you know the serum doesn't get wasted and doesn't drip. So yeah that is it guys. What do I think of that sheet mask? Well my skin feels all right. If I had another one I would certainly use it again and yeah that's it for now really guys. Like I say, half an hour into this video, oh my goodness, it, this is longer than I anticipated it to be. But I knew once I started talking about the Rockerbox stuff and about, oh, I had something else to show you. I knew it, so I'm going to quickly show you it actually before I go. Everyone will notice in this month's Look Fantastic, we got the Rituals Body Cream. The Rituals of Mer or Mer, I don't know how you pronounce that, M-E-H-R. Rituals of Mer, I'm going to call it. Anyway, I absolutely bloody love it. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. And I've literally used half this tube already. Luckily, I've got another one. Anyway, this one replaced this one, which is the Rituals of Happy Buddha, or so I'm told. And it's the exact same scent, which is sweet orange and cedar wood. But I think they've revamped the formula because to me, these smell slightly different. I mean, they're almost identical, but slightly different. And I do much prefer the new one. The new, I think it's possibly a slightly, just a slightly revamped formula, maybe. But if you know anything about that, please let us know. I know that Dutch Monique loves her Rituals products. Um, and so does a few other of my YouTuber friends. So if you know anything about this, particularly Monique, because I know she loves these scents, um, let me know if you know if they've had like you know tweaked the formula at all for this but yeah i'm just going to pop a little bit on the back of each hand just so i can have a sniff to see if i really can smell a difference bearing in mind i've actually got the rituals of myrrh on my arms today <coughs> sorry i knew i'd end up coughing at some point so my left hand has got the rituals of myrrh on the new one <coughs> Of course, I've got a frog in my throat now that I've started talking again. Oh, I absolutely love it. It's so fresh. It's just so lovely. Quite a unisex smell, which I wouldn't usually go for, but it's gorgeous. There is definitely a difference with those two scents. The new one, the Myrrh one, is so much nicer. Almost identical, but just this one's a bit more powerful. Yeah, this one's just that little bit sweeter. I think there's a little bit more sweet orange in the new one, the Rituals of Myrrh. That's my opinion on the two scents. Obviously, I've still got the Happy Butter one, which, to be honest, I think I've only used this once or twice. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with that because I prefer the other one. Although it's almost identical, I'll probably use it up. To be honest, it's a good idea sometimes to use up your body creams by lathering, it, lathering them on your feet putting a pair of fluffy socks on, leaving your feet overnight if you can with fluffy socks on, which I know is difficult when you're in bed and you want to kick them off because you get too hot. But yeah, it'll definitely absorb in, you know, make your feet feel nice and soft. But it's a good way to use up, you know, excess body lotions where you need to finish the tubes or the tubs, which is probably what I'm going to do with this one. Unless anybody out there, any of my friends nearby would desperately like this Happy Buddha one. But yeah, I'm probably going to use it on my feet because they really could need, could do with some good moisture. But yeah, I do prefer the new one. They've definitely tweaked the formula. To me, they've definitely tweaked it. I think the old one's more cedar wood and the new one is more sweet orange. They both feel quite similar, but I think the new one's definitely been tweaked 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 <laughs> tweaked so i really do like this one so yeah let me know what you think of this rituals product because i absolutely bloody love it anyway so yeah i think that's everything i was going to mention is it no it's not i told you there was one more thing i knew it the illa Masca lipstick we got in glossy box the red one i have tried this out it's very matte it's quite dry um it's okay it's nothing special um i just think it's okay is it Illamasca? It's not Illamasca. What am I saying? It's not Illamasca. It looks like Illamasca. It's Josephine Cosmetics. I knew it wasn't Illamasca as soon as I said that. But I've already got a red lipstick on. But yeah, it's a liquid red lipstick. I've tried it out once. It's just alright. It's not my go-to. It's a lovely colour. I love my reds, as you can see. But I prefer a nice creamy lipstick that I put on like bullet style. Literally like, at the moment, I think I've got this Kiko one on. Um, 
I don't even know what it's called but yeah this is the one I've got on right now and I absolutely love it so it's nice and creamy and it smells lush so yeah I prefer to use those kind of lipsticks over the liquid ones that's just my personal preference everybody is different but I'll keep it because obviously I've tried it so it's not hygienic to pass it on and I'll probably use it a handful of times and at least I'll get some use out of it but it's not Ella Masker, it's Josephine Cosmetics. Get that right next time, Julie. Anyway, I keep all the fluffs in. You know me, guys. I don't exactly shy away from cutting them out. Anyway, right, I'm going to get going now because this video is so long. But thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you want to enter my special giveaway, then please do what I said earlier on in the video. And your name will get written down on a piece of paper and added to the Lucky Dip draw. Anyway, until next time, everybody take care. Have a spooktacular Halloween tonight, whatever you may be doing. I will just be chilling out, hopefully after a nice bath or something. Kick back with my jammies on after I've had my dinner and done the dishes. Typical housewife duties. And then hopefully watch something cool on the telly. Probably shameless because I want to get it finished, hopefully, ASAP. Anyway, have a great night, everyone. Hope everyone's had a good weekend. Stay safe. Try not to catch the coldy, fluey lurgy that I've got right now. And now it's time for me to go and take some more painkillers. So yeah, take care everyone and bye-bye for now.